Buchanan. We're also live online at NBC30.com. The accident happened just before 4 o'clock this afternoon, sending five people to the hospital. Severe thunderstorms were passing through the area at the time, but police say a drunk captain steering the ship may be the one to blame. NBC30's Amanda Rouse live at Phantom Lake in Morris with more. Amanda. Well, Monica, it was in this lake behind me where that boat did capsize, sending more than 20 people into the lake. Now, the DEP officials say they think the captain was partly to blame. That's why they arrested 47-year-old Julian Scott Morris for boating under the influence. Now, what happened was I was mowing the lawn up here. I looked down and saw the boat tip over and just out of no, the boat completely just capsized. Within minutes, a boat ride on Bantam Lake turned into a rescue operation after the paddle wheel boat named Jubilee capsized near the Litchfield boat launch. It sent the 22 people on board into the water. Any boat that, sa that saw the accident came rushing over. Everyone's throwing life jackets at pe for everyone, trying to get the people out. People were, actually fell from the top level. They transported five people to the hospital. There was a few others that, um, got um, refused treatment. The Department of Environmental Protection says everyone on board was accounted for, but dive crews from Thomaston and Newtown assisted the Bantam and Morris Fire Departments in searching the water just to make sure. They had to end their search when the thunderstorms rolled in. We can't have people in the water in the lightning. DEP officials say 47-year-old Julian Scott Morris, seen in this photo, was arrested for operating the boat under the influence of alcohol, which officials say contributed to the boat flipping over. But people who know Morris and have been out on his boat say they're surprised to hear the charges. They've never had a problem out on the Jubilee. He, he seemed to be very, very aware of the rules and very cautious, actually. And we are told that the people that were taken to the hospital, they had non-life-threatening injuries, and all of them are expected to be okay. Live at Bantam Lake, Mant Rouse, NBC 30 News. Severe thunderstorms rolled through Connecticut today. They left dozens of downed trees and power lines and nearly 30,000 people in the dark. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Brad Field. Brad, are these storms done yet? Yes, Monica, they're pretty much history. The uh, past few hours, we've seen the thunder and lightning, the hail and the high winds move up.